Let's take a look at this problem. Suppose you originally paid $1,200 in taxes. A year later, taxes decreased by 20%, but the following year, taxes increased by 20%. What do you pay in taxes in the end? And I call this a tricky percentage problem, because when you first look at it, you think, well, if they dropped by 20% one year, and then they rose by 20% the next year, they should be back to 1200 But as we'll find out, that's not what actually happens. Because if you'll notice, when it drops by 20%, that 20% 20 is 20% 20 of the 1200 And when it increases by 20%, that's 20% of the lower amount, whatever it is, that first year. So the increase is going to be less than the decrease, since the increase is a 20% of a smaller amount than the decrease. So let's take this one step at a time. At the beginning, you pay $1,200 in taxes. After a year, that drops by 20%. So if it dropped by 20%, what's left is 80% of the 1,200. So we find 80% or 0 0.8 of 1,200. And then the second year, it goes up by 20%. So now we have 120% of this amount. Well, 0 0.8 times 1,200 is 960. And so if we have 120% of that 960, that reduced amount, you multiply 1.2 times 960, and we find that at the end, the amount you pay is 1152. So as we expected, the final amount is lower than what you started with, because again, you begin by decreasing by 20% of 1200, and then the increase is only 20% of this smaller amount. So the amount that it goes up is less than the amount that it goes down. So you end up with a lower total at the end. But again, to find a decrease by 20%, we multiplied by 80%. To find an increase by 20%, we multiplied by 120%.